वेलकम जाकिर भाई आई बीन इंट्रोड्यूस टू यू बाय माय सर नासिर सर गुरु हु इज अ टीचर बाय प्रोफेशन एंड द फर्स्ट टाइम आई हर्ड यू वाज एट आज़ाद मैदान एंड द टॉपिक वाज सिमिलैरिटीज बिटवीन हिंदुइज्म एंड इस्लाम माय नेम इज दिपेन सेठ एंड आई एम वर्किंग विद अ कंस्ट्रक्शन कंपनी आई हैव कम अक्रॉस अ आर्ग्यूमेंट बाई माई फेलो फ्रेंड्स वेन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दीज टॉपिक्स and uh, the question is that when the moguls were there they have tempered with the hindu scriptures and that's the reason we find uh, you know the, some references and things like that in the scriptures is it a myth or a reality please throw some light on it thank you but that's a very good question that when the moguls came to india they tempered with the hindu scriptures is it a myth or is it a reality as far as my study goes it is a myth there are some things what the hindu said did come into the scripture for example the word hindu the word hindu doesn't exist in any of the hindu scriptures before the arabs came to india hindu is actually a geographical definition the word hindu was first used by the arabs when they came to india they say hindi hindi even now today when i go to saudi they call me hindi hindi hai I'm a Hindi. Hindi means it's a geographical definition for people living in the land of the Indus Valley. It's not a religious definition. That's the reason Jawaharlal Nehru says the word Hindu does not appear in the Hindu scriptures until the Arabs came to India. But regarding a question, the Mughals tampered with the Hindu scriptures. Point number one. As far as my study goes, the Mughals did not tamper with Hindu scriptures. Fine. Now, even if I agree with you that the Mughals tempered, now once they have tempered, you leave that scripture now. If you agree that the scripture has tempered, so leave it now. What are you going to follow? A tempered scripture? Follow a scripture which is not tempered. Quran. So even if I agree with your argument that Mughals have tempered the scripture, now leave that scripture. Suppose you have two glasses of water. One glass is pure. In the other glass. someone puts one drop of gutter water is in front of you but once it mixes you can't make out the dirt will you have the glass of water no why you can't see it but because you saw dirty black color drop it falls in the glass of water it mixes you can't make out will you have it will you have the glass of water once i have seen it i won't have correct very good because you are logical So even if I agree with you that Moses have tempered the scripture, leave that scripture. Have the pure scripture, Quran. And if you say they have not tempered, the Hindu scripture says you have to follow the Quran. Hindu scripture says that you have to follow Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. If they have not tempered, if they have tempered, leave it. Follow this. If they have not tempered, the scripture says that you have to believe in one God, which I give quotation. Besides giving quotation of God, that scripture also says that you have to follow the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. I can give you quotations from the Hindu scriptures talking about the coming of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If you read the Hindu scriptures, Bhavishya Purana, Parva three, Khanda three, Adhe three, Shlokas five to eight, it talks about Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Bhavishya Purana, Parva three, Khanda three, Adhe three, Shlokas ten to twenty seven, talk about Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If you read the Kuntap Suktas, Atharva Ved, book number twenty, hymn number one twenty seven, verse number one to fourteen, talk about Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If you read Atharva Ved, book number twenty, hymn number twenty one, verse number six, Atharva Ved, book number twenty, hymn number twenty one, verse number seven, talk about Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Rig Ved, book number one, hymn number fifty three, verse number nine, it talks about Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If you read the Sam Ved. Agni mantra number 64 talks about Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam even Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is mentioned by name he is called as Ahmad the one who praises in Sam Ved Uttar Chik mantra number 1500 in Sam Ved Indra chapter number 2 mantra number 152 in Yajur Ved chapter number 31 verse number 18 in Rig Ved book number 8 hymn number 6 mantra number 10 in Atharva Ved book number 8 Hymn number five, mantra number sixteen. Atharva Ved, book number twenty. Hymn number one twenty-six, mantra number fourteen. He is even mentioned by name as Muhammad. He is called as Nara Shansa. Nara Shansa means Nar means man. Shansa means prashansa, praise. One who is worth praising, the praiseworthy. If you translate Nara Shansa into Arabic, it becomes Muhammad. He is mentioned by name Muhammad. 
as narration sa in several places rigved book number 1 hymn number 13 verse number 3 rigved book number 1 hymn number 18 mantra number 9 rigved book number 1 hymn number 106 mantra number 4 rigved book number 1 hymn number 142 mantra number 3 rigved book number 2 hymn number 3 mantra number 2 rigved book number 5 hymn number 5 mantra number 2 rigved book number 7 hymn number 2 mantra number 2 rigved book number 10 hymn number 182 mantra number 2 yajurve chapter number 20 verse number 37 yajurve chapter number 21 verse number 31 yajurve chapter number 21 verse number 55 yajurve chapter number 20 verse number 37 yajurve chapter number 20 verse number 57 yajurve chapter number 28 verse number 2 yajurve chapter number 28 verse number 19 yajurve chapter number 20 verse number 42 i can keep on quoting only references of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned in the scriptures so your scriptures say that there's one god you worship him alone and you have to follow the last and final messenger even when the scriptures speak about the kalki avatar about muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as the last and final messenger it says his mother's name will be sumati that's amina the name of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mother it says his father's name will be vishnu yas servant of god abdullah which is the name of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam father it says he will be born in sambala a place of peace that is makka he'll be born in the place in the family of the chief of makka and we know in the family of quraish he left four companions talking of the sahaba i can go on and on and on talking about this kalki avatar he will come he'll be the last messenger that is prophet muhammad peace be upon him i am asking you brother do you believe in one god yeah do you believe that there's no idol worship Yeah I don't believe in idol worship after I heard uh, your speech at Azhar Maidan so you know I'm very clear in all those aspects and I've heard you a lot of times so I just had a question which was posed to me and I wanted an answer for that so wanted to hear that so, so do you believe that prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger Yeah I do believe in la ilaha illallah Muhammad rasulullah Mashallah so, Yeah Mashallah. It is very clear and um, I thank Allah you, reward you brother thank you from the bottom of my heart that you doing such a good work and you're clearing all these misconceptions that we all people do have. Mashallah reward you brother and in Islam if you submit your will a person is called as a muslim. Exactly so your will. Exactly sir sorry to interrupt you but that's the reason when people ask me who uh, what's your religion and uh, you know I speak Gujarati and when they tell me what's your religion I just uh, when I heard you that uh, you know the definition of a muslim is the person who bows his will to allah subhanahu wa taala and that's what i told him that you know i am a muslim so he was like shocked so the allah reason why he was shocked is that i i speak gujarati i know where uh, you know i am a muslim or something or you know come from a muslim background family so i was like i am born in whichever family it is but then i know what is right and i've just studied that and that's what i talk about and i preach about and i just try to do my bit in the small pieces and bits that i can do so thank, thank you, you so i really appreciate you, and i thank you and may almighty god grant you janna and if you require any query any question the most welcome to contact anyway, us it's a pleasure anyway. thank, thank you very much brother thank you